Mikey, Tommy, uh, Mix, Josh, Kings, everyone, all the front boys have been trying to build our team around the, the front guys. Today you picked up a war wound yourself. Um, are, are you getting used to teams now coming and, and sort of putting ten behind the ball and getting quite physical? Yeah, definitely. I think it's more the front, front four boys that have been getting uh, the wrap of a few defenders because they're just unbelievable. Defenders can't get near them. So yeah, I think a few of the front boys have been picking up little knocks in that. So um, we just got to get behind them and protect them. Really. So Paris, after the defeat at Faversham last week, how important was it to get back to winning ways today? Um, very important. You know, a few of the teams around us are picking up points. Luckily, some few people lost uh, last week, which sort of helped us out. But we knew we had to get back to our game and start playing how we have been in the past. So yeah, massive three points today. Seemed like a, a real tough battle out there against Whiteleaf today. What was it like to play in? Yeah, it was. It's what we expected. Um, they gave us a tough game when they defended um, when we was at their ground. So we knew they weren't going to just lay down and let us win. Um, but we had to graft, um, be patient, and we knew we'd get there in the end. Yeah, especially the second half. Uh, it seemed like uh, they got frustrated with uh, a lot of the possession that we were keeping, etc. But was it going to be a mistake from our point of view that would have let them back into the game, do you feel? It, it would have been a mistake or a set piece. It's how um, teams, I think they come here and think that's the only way they're going to get a goal as we usually dominate possession. Um, but I think we dealt with set pieces quite well um, and we kept our heads when they were putting us under pressure. You're new to the club, joined obviously in pre-season. Uh, what's it been like playing with the likes of uh, Ricky Corboa and Mikel Miller and, and Tommy Bradford at the top there? Because Ricky's come off the bench today and, and grabbed another couple. Yeah, it's been really enjoyable. So we've, it's made my life easy. I just give them the ball and let them do all the hard work. But um, you can see how much talent they've got and they all stay fit. We've got a chance of doing something this season. <laughs> and, uh, captain yourself as well when you've been playing this season. Um, fairly, fairly new central back, uh, centre, centre back pairing with uh, Jamal and. Calvin, how do you think the, the, the three of you and Bobby on, on the right as well have gelled this season? Um, very well. We've, well, we've had to, to be fair, because teams around us and teams in the league, have, I think they've pretty much played with each other before. So we've had to gel as quickly as possible. And I think we've done, done that excellently. Calvin and, and uh, Jamal have been quality. They've led out from the back, like Pete's hearts them too. And Bob's been in his normal self, unbelievable. So, yeah, we've gelled pretty quickly. So... And just lastly, um, I see you're wearing the number five. Um, since the, the squad numbers have come in place, you were starting at number six. Uh, what, what's happened there? Has uh, Jamal had to have a word with someone? Or I'm not sure. That's, I think that's something with the secretary um, gone wrong. Um, and Jamal's not happy about it, but it's one of those things and just have to get on with it. <laughs> you don't have a lucky number then? I, I don't mind, but it's, this is something personal to him, so I'll try and do it proud. <laughs>
But yeah, very physical game today. Very physical.